Hello, it is Tuesday, June 13th, 2023. I'm Chris Remond. Welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Tuesday puzzle, so it should be another relatively approachable themed crossword like we had yesterday on Monday. And I hope that's true. Again, because uh, as with yesterday, actually, I'm on a fairly compressed uh, schedule, so I don't have very much time to record this video. So hopefully it doesn't drag out. It should be all right. It's a Tuesday puzzle after all. And this Tuesday puzzle has been brought to us by Kathleen Quinn, Cotidiophile, Overfull Hitbox, and as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark, the indomitable Shoalmaster, and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the six of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for directly supporting this channel. They're keeping this series alive. For that, I am very appreciative, as I'm appreciative of all of the contributions from everybody who's a patron of the channel. So thank you if that includes you. And uh, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve if you're interested in becoming a patron or exploring what's uh, what's available over there. And uh, there's also a link in the description field. You get all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel um, to date. And as a benefactor, of course, you also get the Daily Self Let's Check the Crosses mug. Um, all right. So thank you again to everybody who is a patron. Uh, thank you to all these subscribers to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you've been enjoying these videos. And finally, you can also subscribe to the Daily Solve Discord chat server. There's a link in the description field to that. All right, let's get on to today's crossword. This is a collaboration by Juliana Tringali Golden and Wendy L. Brands. They have, uh, each of them is responsible for a small handful of New York Times crosswords. And this puzzle was edited, of course, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving and see what these two have cooked up for us. All right, airdrops, question mark. What is that getting at? Drops of air? I'm not sure. Sticks by the hearth kindling, maybe? No, it doesn't fit. Uh, sticks, pokers, what? Fire log? <laughs> it's not plural. No, I don't know. I have to move on. Sorry. Channel that shows congressional voting. C-SPAN is a cable network in the United States that uh, shows footage, uh, it shows live footage of Congress. Wagers, bets, once more, a new, maybe? Let's look at the crosses on that. Mattress size, smaller than full, a twin, twin bed is smaller than a full bed. And airdrops, why do I not see what this is? Most seductive. Sexiest, maybe? Could be. Look at a short cross from that, see if it works. Tend to a garden in a way. You could you could hoe a garden, maybe? That's in a way, I suppose. <clears throat> because uh, hoeing doesn't literally mean tending to a garden, but in a way, it could be one way that you do tend to a garden, even though it's not a strict synonym. So let's see. So let's let's see if that if this all works out. Air drop oh, mist. Mist. Okay. Drop droplets of water in the air, I suppose, are mist. Yeah, okay. That, that works for me. Sticks by the hearth. Well, I don't know, I can't see. I mean, what I'm looking for is something that is a stick that would be near a hearth. I'm assuming that's what's going on, as opposed to the idiomatic reading, sticks by the hearth, meaning hues close to, you know, remains close to the hearth. But I don't know, I'm just not seeing it. One hailed on city streets, taxi driver? Neither's partner, neither this nor that. Um, and beverage such as Audrey Hopburn or Hoptimus Prime. <laughs> must be an ale, I guess. Are those actual real things? They must be. They must be hoppy ales. All right. Outlook in brief. The POV point of view. And speed skater Ono. Oh Apollo Ono, oh I've certainly heard of. Um, blank City, capital of Nevada. Carson City. Uh, the capital of Nirvana. I don't think I've ever been to Carson City, but there we go. Practiced sales pitch, a spiel. You could give a spiel, give a, um, you know, a, your, your kind of whole line about something that you're trying to sell or convince somebody of. American Born Blank, prize-winning graphic novel by Jean Luen Yang. Looks like American Born Chinese, which I, which is a fairly commonly used phrase. Um, so this is probably the answer. And sticks, oh, matches. Okay, there we go. I was on the right track. I just couldn't think of the answer. So matches to light a fire in the hearth. There we go. Yankee great, blank Howard. 
I don't know, and I'm not seeing what name that obviously is. Behind on payments in a hole. You could be in debt. You could be in a hole. Elston Howard? I don't know. Programmed to as a thermostat. Set at, maybe you set the thermostat at a particular temperature. You programmed it to that temperature. Dedicate to is... Uh, to dedicate oneself to is to devote oneself to. There we go. This does look like maybe Elston. That's not a name I really know, but it sort of sounds like it could be. So Poi Source is uh, is it Taro? That sort of sounds like it should be right to me, but I couldn't like Taro Root. Is that correct? I'm, I might be misthinking this, but I kind of want that to be the answer. Got everything before we leave with a, oh, with a checklist scene. Right, sorry, I didn't even, I haven't even been paying attention to the circles. So we have ID here. Uh, got everything before we leave with a checklist scene in the circled letters. With a checklist, a, got everything before we leave. Are we going on a trip maybe? We need our ID. Um, what about this? Output from an eruption, volcanic Ash? Cash. ID. Cash. Okay. It does feel like we're sort of maybe going somewhere and we need these things in our in our wallet, maybe? What about this? Cocktail garnished with an orange slice and a maraschino cherry. Um, you sometimes see an old-fashioned that way, but that doesn't fit. Um, what else could be garnished with an orange slice and a maraschino cherry? I don't know. I mean, that's the thing that comes to mind for me. Uh, what about this? Mediocre. So-so. I'm going to see if I can get some downs that'll help me with that other one. Looked beyond. Saw past. Oh, a whiskey sour? I don't think I've ever had a maraschino cherry on a whiskey in a whiskey sour. Um, but that might be the answer. Oh, keys. Oh, yeah. Okay, it is. So it's IDs, cash, keys, and what else? What else? What else? Hold on to a moral code to keep, um, I don't know, keep the faith or something. It doesn't, doesn't quite fit. Cute little mishap. An oopsie, maybe, or uh, maybe an oopsie with a Y. Cute little mishap, meaning it's in sort of childish language, I think is what that's suggesting, perhaps. Oh, maybe this is keep at least still then. Hold on to a moral code. Keep uh, let's look at this. Units of computer memory, abbreviation, could be kilobytes. That is a unit of computer memory. And what foodies love to do, they love to eat. How do you say that in Spanish? Uh, eso hangs, or esa hangs around, stays. Uh, and then lowest opera voice could be beso. And many in Mexico, uh, muchos. Okay, so oh, we had two bits of Spanish today. Hold on to a moral code. Keep honest. Ah, phone. Okay. <laughs> your ID, your cash, your keys, and your phone. Got everything before we leave with a checklist seen in the circle. Oh, no, sorry. This isn't looking for the checklist. It's looking for a phrase. Oh, it's looking for the phrase itself. It's ready to go. Right. Sorry. I read this completely incorrectly. I, um, I, I don't know why I read it this way. For some reason, I was thinking maybe... We, this answer was going to be a name for the checklist, but it's not. Uh, this means got everything before we leave, ready to go. And then the checklist in the circle of letters is just helping us out to identify that. All right, great. So Grammy, Grammy, winner, in, Grammy winner India Ari, um, I have to admit, unfortunately, I know primarily through references on the crossword. And responsibility is one's duty. Subway alternative could be a city bus. There we go. Here's rub, cause friction. And in situ is as found. So there we go. Sun setting is in the sky. And spiteful about little slights. You could be a petty person if you're spiteful about little slights. Board game named for a Shakespeare character, Othello. I always wondered if it was named after the Shakespeare character. I suppose it is. And if one's infatuated, you could say maybe you're smitten smitten with, oh, right above here, with the most seductive person, the sexiest person. And a kind of saxophone could be an alto saxophone. And abolitionist Harriet Beecher Stowe. 
Did Harriet Beecher, I think Harriet Beecher Stowe wrote Uncle Tom's Cabin. Um, a whole bunch is a slew of whatever, of something. And something to watch with your teachers. You watch your tone. You don't be too sassy with your teachers. Bat Appreciation Month, fittingly, would be October, I suppose, fittingly, because it's the month that includes the holiday of Halloween, with which bats are associated. To make specifically for something is to gear it to somebody. And if you're forbidden to something, you to, forbidden to do something, you may not do it. Student trials are essays? No, they're exam. Oh, exams, of course. Yes, trial for a student would be taking an exam. And an aardvark by another name is an ant bear. I've never heard that one. Is that true? Do, am I, maybe I'm misinferring this. I don't know. Let's look at the crosses. Dam Building Public's Work Works Organization. The TVA, the Tennessee Valley Authority, that would be something from the um, Franklin D. Roosevelt era, uh, New Deal era. Let's see if that, if that fits. Gets out of the way, say. Moves it. Oh, I see, right. Move it. Get out of the way. So moves it. You don't re wouldn't really use this phrase in this particular, you wouldn't say, ah, he moves it, but but yeah, it makes sense. Give a fright. Um, startle, you startle somebody, give them a fright. Okay, so TVA looked correct. Something you may have to have held when while you're away. Your mail, hold my mail, you might say. And lay it on me, you say. I'm ready to solve this crossword. Noted Art Deco designer is Erte, certainly very much associated with the Art Deco era. Okay, classic theater name, Roxy. That, that's a, you do see old, often old theaters uh, and old cinemas called the Roxy. Bodybuild, bodybuilders count is reps. How many um, weightlifting reps, for instance, that kind of thing. And teach is educate. Oops. Hypes is something's up. You hype something, you sort of, you hype it up, you... What? What do you do to it? You... Mm, not sure. Mon mon fo Monday followers, Tuesday. Steps on as a bug is squashes. No. Uh, oops. Smashes? I mean, that fits the number of letters, but I don't think of that as being steps on. Even though it technically makes sense. Genesis outcast. Uh, Adam and Eve were cast out of the Garden of Eden. No frills is basic, and hypes is what? Roll for, uh, roll for Takei on a, Takei on a 1960s TV is uh, Sulu. What is, what is his rank? I can't remember. Uh, in any case, the, the character from the original Star Trek series. Okay, hypes is, oh, talks up, I see. Okay, you've really hyped this. You've really talked it up. That works perfectly well. I should have thought of it, didn't. So smushes a bug. Okay, right. And then sneakers informally are kicks, your sneakers, your kicks, your shoes. And most common Korean surname. Oh, this was in the puzzle, I think, clued identically just a few weeks ago. And the answer is Kim. So meeting point is an... An item, right. And this has, note that this has a question mark. So it doesn't mean a meeting point in the sense you might expect, which is a place at which you could uh, meet somebody, but rather, uh, in this case, it means a point of order at a meeting, a sort of something to discuss at a meeting. Uh, toiling away is you're at it, you're toiling away, you're working, you're at it. And fashion guru gun, oh, whoops, I misspelled at it. Tim Gunn, I've, I've heard that name. I couldn't tell you who they are exactly, but fictional captain of the Nautilus is uh, Captain Nemo, of course, from uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Oops, oops, just mistyped that. And there we go. All right, that was the Tuesday puzzle. There we go. Um, and let's check our theme again. We, we have figured it out, but let's take a look at it. So we need our ID, our cash, our keys, our phone, and uh, someone might ask, ready to go? And we say, yes, because I have my ID, my ca cash, my keys, and my phone. 
And so we'll head off for a trip. And that's uh, much like I am going to head off having completed this crossword, although I won't be taking my ID, my cash, my keys, and my phone because I'm not leaving my home. I just have other things to do. So uh, that was that today. And let me know how you fared with this crossword, this Tuesday collaboration by Julia Tringali golden and Wendy L. Brands. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, of course, for the Wednesday crossword, the midweek mid-difficulty grid. So let's look forward to that. Hope you join me. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Tuesday. Take care. Mm-hmm.